everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick and Setting Powder. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. I went to Sephora yesterday and purchased these items. Yesterday was December 26th. The bronzer retails for $23 and it comes in five different shades. I did not like the shade range when I went in store to swatch them. I got the second to lightest shade. The last three bronzer shades I swatched on the back of my hand looked very dark on me, so I ended up picking up the shade in Happy Soul. In my personal opinion, I think Selena should have released seven to eight bronzer shades. Five shades is not enough for everyone, and I did not like the undertones either. Happy Soul is described as light brown with cool undertones. The last three shades in this bronzer stick, Always Sunny, Full of Life, and then True Warmth. I did not like the undertones. The last shade had a red undertone. The previous shade before that had a golden undertone, and then the one that I was leaning towards was always sunny, but then when I swatched it in store, I was like, this is way too deep for me. So let's go ahead and try on the bronzer stick and then we'll move on to the setting powder. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick. In the middle here, you have the shade name. Again, this is in the shade Happy Soul. You have a little description and then it says Rare Beauty. You get 0.25 ounces or seven grams of product. On this side of the packaging, it states it has a 12 month shelf life. On the other side, you have the list of ingredients and it states that this was made in Italy. Up at the top, you have the shade name. Again, this is in the shade Happy Soul. And then down at the bottom, you have the barcode. I like that the packaging has a safety seal on it. Underneath the flap, it says you are rare. I love that. Here's what the bronzer stick looks like. It says rare beauty on it. Let's see how much product we get. Here's how much product comes inside of the tube. Not a lot of product for $23 in my opinion. Here's what the shade in Happy Soul looks like. I already applied my foundation all over. For foundation, I use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation is my holy grail. I use it every time I'm filming. I apply two coats of mascara. I use the Rare Beauty Volumizing Mascara. That's all I have on my skin. And then of course, moisturizer and primer and sunscreen. That's everything I currently have on my skin. My foundation hasn't dried down yet and my skin type is very oily. So we'll see how this bronzer stick formula lasts throughout the day. I'm just gonna do one stripe. Wait, can you even see that? Hang on a second. This is not even showing up on my skin. What? It shows up on the back of my hand. So I'm just gonna take my brush. I'm gonna see if I can build this up. There's a little bit of a line here. It's very subtle. I expected Happy Soul to look like this. This shade is a little bit too light on me. The other three shades are gonna be way too dark on me. I applied a little bit underneath my jawline. Here's what the bronzer shade in Happy Soul looks like. You can tell I have a little bit of something, but it is very subtle, and I don't like that it has a cooler undertone, but I'm still gonna wear it throughout my day just to see how it wears. On the left side, I'm gonna be applying the bronzer stick and then blending it out using my damp beauty blender. Again, you can barely see it, but I can see it a little bit here. I'm gonna be taking my damp beauty blender and blending it out. For some reason, the bronzer is disturbing the foundation underneath. I'm gonna apply a little bit more bronzer. I'll blend it out using a brush. I think that's a little bit better. I'm gonna apply some more to my forehead and then my jawline. Here's what the bronzer looks like. Here's how much product I used up. That's crazy that I used this much product for one day. I cleaned up the foundation that was in my hair. I forgot to read a little bit about the foundation stick on Sephora's website. A breakthrough bronzing stick for a quick and visible sun-kissed glow with a smooth, 
seamless second skin finish just swipe on blend and go I definitely agree that the bronzing stick was easy to blend with a brush with a damp beauty blender it was not easy to blend and it lifted up the foundation underneath let's move on to the setting powder the setting powder retails for $22 and it comes in five different shades as well I purchased this shade in medium medium is described as warm honey for medium to medium deep complexions I do want to read a little bit about the setting powder on Sephora's website a silky do-it-all talc free loose setting powder to visibly smooth blur and control shine for a soft natural finish and all-day comfort here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like this is called always an optimist soft radiance setting powder in the middle here you have the shade name then there's a little description down at the bottom it says rare beauty you get 0.35 ounces or 10 grams of product and again I love that this has a safety seal and again on the flap it says you are rare I don't know about this shade. This looks a little bit deep. Here's what the packaging looks like. On the cap, it says Rare Beauty. On the back, it says Medium. And again, it says it was made in Italy. I like this sifter. I think that's really cool. Just opens and closes like that. That way you don't get a lot of product. Let's pour some on the cap. I think I poured out a little bit too much on the cap. As you guys can see, it looks a little bit too dark. I'm still gonna set my skin with the setting powder. I have a large fluffy brush here. I'm just gonna go into the powder and press this into the skin. I guess the shade isn't too bad. I'm applying a little bit of the setting powder underneath my eyes. Even though the setting powder does look deep, I do wanna show you guys when I have a little bit on the back of my finger, I'll swatch it on the back of my hand. I feel like it matches me. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. My skin looks a little bit dewy. The setting powder definitely made my skin dewy. This foundation is a matte foundation, so I know it's not the foundation, it's definitely the setting powder. My first impressions of the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick in the shade Happy Soul is I think it's a little bit too light for me. I know for a fact the next shade is gonna be way too deep on me. I'm not gonna bother going back to Sephora and spending another $23 on a bronzer stick, which I'm probably never gonna reach for again. I'm not really a cream product person, I'm more of a powder person because my skin type is very oily. My first impression of the setting powder is that I'm not a huge fan of it, even though on the packaging it does state that this is a soft radiance powder. I just don't like that glow that my skin has at the moment. My skin type is very oily, so we'll see what we look like towards the end of the night. Here's one last look on what everything looks like. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night and I will see you guys then. Hey guys, it is the end of the night of me testing out the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick and the Setting Powder. Here's what we're currently looking like. The setting powder in medium did darken my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Toffee. At the end of the night, my foundation does not look this deep. Not only that, but the setting powder did settle into my necklines. It also settled underneath my eyes. I'm going to look up so you guys can see. I don't think the previous shade in light to medium would suit my skin tone. I feel like that shade would be a little bit too light for me. This shade in medium is a little bit too deep for me. I will be passing the setting powder along. Five shades are not enough. Rare Beauty could have added seven to eight more shades in their setting powders. I feel like they missed the mark. Hopefully they will expand their shade range later on. For $22, I think the setting powder is okay. It's not a must have. My Too Faced Peach Perfect setting powder is amazing. This shade is translucent and it works on all skin tones. I wish Selena would have came out with a translucent setting powder and instead of all these different shades. The bronzer shade in Happy Soul disappeared. You can't even tell I have any bronzer. It's upsetting that I spent $23 on this bronzer stick. There are plenty of great bronzer sticks at the drugstore and at Sephora for a cheaper price. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried the bronzer stick or setting powder or both from Rare Beauty. I would love to know your thoughts. If you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.